Hi, I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the super easiest loaf of bread, pull apart loaf bread. I used to think that making bread was just this huge daunting thing that just never worked out. But after a few years of getting it perfected and a few tricks that I learned, it has become a super easy, easy thing to do for your family. So today I'm gonna to show you a different type of loaf to make, uh, great for holidays, guests, or just every day. This is gonna be fun. Okay, for ingredients, super basic stuff, you need five and a half to six and a half cups of flour. You can use bread flour or all-purpose flour, it does not matter. Three tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of yeast, one and a half cups of water, half a cup of milk, and three tablespoons of butter. Now this bread is made in two pretty basic stages. We're going to heat our water, milk, and butter in a saucepan, and then we're going to combine our ingredients uh, in the mixing bowl. So here goes our water, our milk, and our butter. Now I've cut it up into smaller pieces so it melts a bit faster. Now we wanna heat this to between 120 degrees and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Now while our liquids are heating up, we're gonna go ahead and get two cups of our flour and in our bowl here. And then we'll go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients, our three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of yeast, and two teaspoons of salt. We like to use the Himalayan salt just has some really good minerals. And then I'm just gonna mix this up with my hand. So now we have our liquids all up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and take those off the heat. You wanna keep the temperature between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Any hotter and you'll kill your yeast. So we're gonna go ahead and slowly pour this in to our flour mixture. And it's okay if the butter's not completely melted. I'm spinning this bowl, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here on the stand mixer so it'll hold it still. Okay, let's take a look at this mixture. This is not incorporated the way we like, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my whisk to uh, get this incorporated properly. All right, now this is what you're gonna be looking for at this stage. It will be lumpy and that's really okay because we're gonna add more flour to it and we're gonna be mixing it with these things. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put our dough hook on here and we're going to go ahead and add three quarters of a cup of flour at a time until this is the right consistency. Now it does take a little bit of time to get it to the right consistency, um, but what you're gonna want is you're gonna want a dough that's going to come together as a ball and not be sticking to the sides in any way. Okay, so every couple minutes, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and go ahead and uh, scrape down the sides of our bowl so that all that flour can get incorporated. And then I'll go ahead and add another three quarters of a cup to the pot. Now I've had to add another three quarter cup, so that's three total so far. Okay, so look here, this is starting to come together, but it is still very sticky and not, not holding together quite yet. So we've got to keep going. All right, so this is still a very sticky dough. Um, it's not holding together in a ball. You see it's still come kind of sticking to the sides here. So we're gonna add another three quarters of a cup. That's the fourth one we've added. Keep going. Start slow, otherwise you'll be wearing it. You don't wanna wear it. Okay, now take a look at this. The, it's coming together at a ball, but it is still kind of sticky. So I'm going to let the dough hook knead it for just a little bit longer and add just a tiny bit more flour, maybe about a quarter of a cup, um, just so that, so that it kind of starts to stick, to hold together. 
So this is ready. This has been kneading for about eight to 10 minutes, um, slapping it up against the wall of there and it's helping to uh, stretch it and release the, you know, make the gluten work, right? So this is ready to go. We're going to head take this dough hook out and we're gonna leave it in this bowl for 30 minutes to one hour until uh, it has doubled in size. Okay, now check this out. This is not sticky at all. It is holding its shape. It stretches really nicely. All I wanna do is just kinda roll this into a ball, put this back into our bowl, and I like to cover it so that it keeps it away from any draft and keeps it away from it getting dry on top. Dry crusty bread on the top doesn't work very well. So you're gonna cover it with a wet towel, some plastic wrap, no big deal, and keep it in a nice warm place. Okay, now as you can see, our dough has doubled in size, and our plastic is poofing up there. Now, all we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour here on the workbench, well, kind of a workbench, and we're gonna just dump this out on top. And we're not gonna abuse it, but we are gonna knock out the bubbles a little bit. And I'm going to divide this in half. And then just roll it into a ball. And then I'm just going to cover it with plastic again, just so it doesn't dry out. And we're gonna let this rest for 15 minutes. Oh. Yeah, you may be tempted to mess with it. Just don't because we're going to roll this out into a rectangle. And if you mess with it too much, you're not gonna be able to. So this needs to rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Cut plastic. <laughs> so we've waited our time again. And uh, now we've got these super beautiful looking orbs. Um, the best way to test it to see if it's right is to poke two fingers in it. If it stays, then it is ready to roll out. So we're gonna roll, push one off to the side and we're gonna do our best to roll this into a rectangle. I give it a, I press it out just a little bit to kind of get it into our rectangle shape. Stretch it in both corners. All right. Get a little stretch here on these corners to keep them straight. All right. Now we've got some melted butter here and we're just going to brush this with some melted butter. You can season this if you'd like but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna use the butter. So we have a rough rectangle shape. It does not have to be perfect because it's going to continue to rise in a pan. So now what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll divide this out equally into four strips going the short distance, so eight inches long. Then we'll take our ends and we're gonna stack these together. Okay, just like so. Then we'll divide this into sections that are about two inches. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to continue to rise. And we'll take our loaf pan and we'll place them in like so. We want cut sides down. And like I said, again, this will continue to rise just like so. Now, side note, this is a greased loaf pan. Um, and then I'll just take the plastic that I had covering the loaf before, cover this over the top, and you're gonna let this rest for another half an hour to 45 minutes till it doubles in size. All right, so here's what we have after our time letting it rise. Um, and this is ready to go into an oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. But wait, there's more. Look what I have over here. While you weren't looking, I decided to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar 
cinnamon and brown sugar on the melted butter and cut it and then stack it in there like I did this. And this makes a fantastic dessert for after dinner. All right, so in you go for 30 minutes. Oh, it's hot. See you soon. All right, they are done. Let's go ahead and take these out here real quick. Oop, see how fall apart it, well, it comes apart so easily. This one, I'm not taking out just yet. <laughs> All right, now look at this. Look how easy this comes apart. Look at that. Oop. Look at how the texture of that is just super fine. And this is just super delicious. Are you feel a little warm? It was so good. Mm. There it is, guys. Super easy, super delicious. You gotta try this. I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day. sticky. It's very sticky. Uh oh. <laughs> it pulled apart, pulled apart. It did. It did. See, that's why it's, it's just, this is so good, but it's sticky. You know what I really should have done is lined this pan with parchment and just, you could just pull it out. Let's put this one over. This is how we make movie magic, folks just like this. It's all in the editing. It's all in the editing. <laughs> Do you th ever think those cooking shows are ever perfect? No. no. They're not. It's all in the editing. Hot. There we go. All right. I think we got this one. Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Uh-oh. That's, Nana. That's a good sign. That one's mine. <laughs> that one's mine. Okay, but now it's not complete. You still got more in there. Yep, that was the end. Mm -hmm. This isn't going back on there anyway. That's okay. <laughs> Yum.